This week at Inside Bobcat Athletics, all about football here at Texas State as the cast prepare for the spring game coming up April the 4th here from Bobcat Stadium. This week we're going to visit with Bobcat head coach Sudus Franchoni and a couple of players. First up, wide receiver Javis Gaines standing by with her very own Brittany Garcia. Here with Javis Gaines, wide receiver. How does it feel coming off of your injury back on the field coming to the spring? I feel great. Actually, it was it was actually hard for me watching on the field, knowing I couldn't be out there to help my team. Now that I'm back, I, I do everything I can. I, I prevent every injury possible. I live and do a little extra thing to make sure I stay healthy. How's the chemistry coming with Tyler Jones now? You're back on the field, you know, getting some reps in. How's that going? Uh, it's going great. We um the stuff that like actually we mess up or anything, we come back, we talk about it. He sees something, he tells me if I see something, I let him know. So the next time we do a route or whatever, our timing is perfect because everything we do is all about timing. And the better we are, the better our team are. The more chemistry we have, the better we'll be for the season. Um, with the other wide receivers, are you leading them being a senior? Are you telling them what they need to do? How's that going to you? Um, yes, actually, I'm the second coach. Coach Johnson put me in that position because I'm the person that knows the whole playbook from each position, and I'm the only person that go from X, H to Z. And so basically, when he can't coach somebody up, I do that. When he don't have time to go and explain something to somebody, I be the one to do that. And that's part of me being a leader, making sure the younger guys come up. When it's their time, they know exactly what they do and they can play confident. Okay, so next Saturday's your spring game. Are you ready to pull it all out, go out for it? Yes, I'm very excited. I always like to put on a show for the fans, you know, so they can have something to look forward for the season. Speaking about next season, how are you? What are your expectations for that? How's the team looking? And oh, my expectation is very high. Coming off last year with seven and five and didn't make it to a bowl game, that still hangs over me. So my expectation is high for us. So I'm looking for that eight win so we can make sure we go to a bowl game. And that's the plan. That's the only thing. That's my focus. That's what, when I go to sleep, I wake up. The only thing I think about is making the ball game. Because at the end of the day, it's my senior year. I want to have a ring. I didn't get one in high school. So my college career, I'd rather have one. Healthcare. Let's be honest. It just has a way of making you feel less human. Between all the paperwork, the jargon, and the bills, somewhere along the way, healthcare lost its human touch. At Seton, we don't treat patients, we care for people. It's how we're healing healthcare, one human at a time. Welcome to Human Care. Back and inside Bobcat Athletics, Brad Freeman back here with you now, joined along with the head coach of the Bobcats, Sudus Franchoni. Three weeks now into spring football, Coach, 11 practices in the books, spring game now a little more than a week away. Just give us your early observations so far of uh, spring ball. Uh, good in a lot of ways. Um, you know, the veterans that have played a lot have had great carryover and, and uh, uh, know how to get things done. Uh, our redshirt freshmen, our new guys, are are learning how to grind and, and how to push through things. Uh, this has been the most physical spring that we have had. That's been uh, pleasant to see. So uh, a, a lot of good work done, but still a lot of work to do. Looking at the, at the defensive side of the football, the most changes as far as personnel goes for you, what have you noticed defensively from this team so far in spring? You know, we, we lost uh, two great players, obviously, Craig Mager and David Mayo, and, and you, you know, Mike, uh, uh, a Rackpo uh, a, a little bit in there too and uh, so um, those guys are hard to replace you, you you put somebody in their place yeah I don't know if you really replace them but I really do think collectively we've got a chance to have a better defense it's year two in John's defense they're playing much more confident uh, farther along the coaches are coaching it better uh, you know last year at this time uh, John got hired about 10 days before we started spring practice and everything was a rush and uh, we went through the year and everything 
uh, and they did a marvelous job of getting it through the year, but um, they're farther along. Uh, the aggressiveness and the, the speed of with, with which they're playing is, is much better. So I, I'm hopeful and optimistic that collectively we got a chance to be better on defense. What's the rapport like for you offensively with so many returning players? Well, the standard time because we, we had a good offensive ball club last year, and uh, we've got a couple of spots that we have to solidify, center being one. Um, can't get the snap in the shotgun, you have all kinds of problems. But uh, we've got a lot of guys back. We, we miss Brad Miller a little, a little bit. You'd like to have Brad back and um, everything. But uh, Lawrence White's having a really good spring and uh, is coming along nice. And, uh, of course, you know, we got good tailbacks back there right now. T Tyler Jones has uh, been through a lot of battles and a veteran to a large part. So, so that's good. And uh, we got older receivers. And uh, the line, I think, has got a chance once we can – uh, make center a solid position that's got a chance to be as good or better than last year. Now, something I've talked with you about before, Coach, is the importance of establishing your backup quarterback this time of year during the spring. We know Tyler Jones will be your starter going into the season, but looking at Blair Sullivan, looking at Connor White, how are those two measuring out so far in the spring? Well, Blair's made a lot of improvement. You know, he was basically a scout team player last year, but Connor White is sol solidly the backup quarterback. And, uh, you know, Connor is probably better than maybe some starters we've played with in the past. Uh, he's got a good grasp and knowledge of things. Um, he's still a redshirt freshman, but, um, you know, really he learned a lot last year uh, coming in, and he had, a, he had a spring practice last year, so this is his second spring, and he's done a nice job of building positive things on top of positive things. Special teams was so, well, special for you a year ago. Will Johnson as your kickoff specialist, Craig Mager returning punts. Both are gone now. We're seniors this past year. How have you, how have you gone about establishing uh, those roles throughout the spring? Well, the, the return game, the, the kicker-punter situation is a is, um, work in progress right now. Uh, I, I think the return game, there's plenty of answers potentially here. We don't have the leg to kick the ball out of the end zone like Will gave us right now, uh, nor the punting leg uh, that we had last year. But... Lumi Cobb is coming in in the fall, and we hope to get help from him. And James has um, did a lot better job in the scrimmage. Uh, so if he can just show it to us on a more consistent basis, it would be big. Coach, we did say the spring game, now a little more than a week away, coming up April the 4th, Easter weekend here from Bobcat Stadium. What do you look to get out of that game? Well, I, I think the biggest thing is, you know, you, you hope your veterans get better. Uh, but you really hope that um, – your redshirt freshmen or who are really uh, being under the gun a little bit more to see who can help us in, in game situations in September. You know, they should get better and better and better, but we, you need to see who's going to be ready to help you early. Uh, and that's going to be the, the only game type situation that we will have between now and Florida State. So uh, I, I think as much as anything, uh, uh, the, the evaluation of some personnel in, in as close to a game-like situation as you can get. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right. All right, then again, head coach did his Franchoni here at IBA. Up next, we're going to send it back to Brittany, visiting with linebacker Stephen Smith. Welcome to the future, imagined by visionaries, championed by leaders, and focused on results. Made real through hard work and a determination to build the things that people count on. Places where ideas are born, where progress fuels growth and strengthens communities. It's work that makes a difference. United Rentals, you're building the future. We're here to help. Let's make sure the film that we watch on Monday as a group, we've, we've gotten better. We've gotten a little better, because we all need to. I felt like we might have taken some steps today, okay? But we'll watch the film and see. Good attitude, what a bounce back, what a, accept responsibility on what we think was a pivotal day. I'm here with senior Stephen Smith. Stephen Smith, how's uh, spring practice going for you? It's going good. I mean, 
Uh, we're making strides on defense and offense. We have a lot of guys coming back on both both sides of the ball. I mean, we're missing a couple big playmakers from last year, like Craig Mager, David Mayo, Michael Odiari. But we have guys stepping up, and you know, it's looking good so far. Yeah, speaking about those seniors who left, um, stepping up your game as a linebacker, how is that going for you? Well, I mean, David Mayo is a great player. I got big shoes to fill, so you know, I'm just taking it day by day. You know, learn from him. I was behind him about two or three years, so. You know, he's a great mentor. I learned a lot from him. So how are you looking forward into the spring game coming up Saturday? Well, I'm one for one in my career in spring games, so I'm trying to make it two and one. You know, go out there and get a W. How's defense looking and how is the transition from spring into fall going to look? I mean, last year we had a new defensive coordinator come in. And, uh, like, this spring compared to last spring, we're miles ahead where we were last year. I mean, we're just, you know, flying to the ball. We're feeling comfortable in our defense. and. It really shows the difference. Thank you to Coach Fran, Steven, and Jafis for those words. Don't forget to come out to the spring game April 4th at 1 o'clock. We'll be here at Bobcat Stadium. This is Inside Bobcat Athletics. I am Brian Garcia, and go Bobcats.